Happy Women's Day 2022. I'm Chaya Vaidhanathan, CEO of VCT Digital. Former investment banker, a partner with Accenture, entrepreneur, mom, daughter, runner, and a professional singer. Different facets to the women in me. Women's Day is all about empowerment and acknowledgement of the women in you and to celebrate the women in your life. Empowerment, plain and simple, is the freedom to make your own choice. Diversity is not just about gender inclusion, while that's a core part of it. Diversity means a lot of things. It's more about a lot more inclusion, um, it's more about acknowledging freedom of others without being judgmental. So whether it's sexual orientation, gender, it's people with disabilities, it's more about how you create an inclusive society that is devoid of judgment and it's kind of brings everybody onto a common platform. hear a lot of phrases in our everyday life. A lot of things, it's always a Hobson's choice for women. The minute you get married, people ask, are you going to continue to work? Uh, the minute you give birth to a child, everything works in tandem with the biological clock. So once you have a kid, it's pretty much they assume you're not going to come back to work. Or even if you do come back to work, you're not going to be as motivated. Uh, it's always a question that, you know, are you going to come back? Are you going to give your 100%? Uh, when is the right time to quit? Uh, it's almost a given, especially in countries like India, that uh, the caregiver is always a woman and that's her primary role. And everything else is a support function to that caregiving ability. Um, so those are phrases that annoys me. She's got married. She's not going to continue. Uh, so get somebody else for the project. Um, she's a mom, so her priorities are going to be different. So, you know, get somebody else for the project. Uh, she's not going to be able to travel, get somebody else for the job. So it's always constant questioning, even though you're working as hard as the next person. Uh, you're always questioned about your choices. And if you're assertive, then you're arrogant. Um, so it's a lot of different things that you're constantly judged about from the clothes to you wear to your caregiving abilities to your working abilities and the, what you can and cannot do doesn't come from the freedom of choice and that is something that bothers me a lot. I would say it's a hard road to travel. Once you made up your mind that you have a freedom of choice, like every freedom, every right comes with responsibilities. So it is not only are you setting the bar high for people to follow, you need to kind of continue to inspire yourself and also kind of like set the benchmark for the people that follow you because you continue to raise the bar. And uh, it's a hard road. Uh, you have to work at times twice as hard to prove your point. But remember, it's the, when you're always operating it in your comfort zone, you're not learning. So continue to set the bar higher and higher and higher and also push yourself continuously. Remember, uh, wars are not easy uh, to win. And it's something that you inspire the next generation. It's not an easy job. So keep the hard work, focus on your priorities and most important when you're doing all of that, remember you're also important. Take care of yourself uh, physically, mentally and uh, stay inspired and learn continuously. Women empowerment is nothing but the right to make a choice, the freedom to make a choice without looking at what are others thinking about me and without looking at the judgmental eyes. It's your decision and how you make that choice. That's all about empowerment.